Hi, it's Dr. Huntington, and today I'm going to talk to you about your bathroom. More specifically, five things you should stock in your medicine cabinet. Now, these five natural items can help you handle some of the most common health concerns. The first one is black elderberry. It's an ancient remedy that you can get in syrup or extract or tea form. The tea is typically made from elderberry flowers. Just like the herb Echinacea, elderberry is super effective at shortening cold and flu recovery time. It's also a natural anti-inflammatory, so it relieves pain and swelling. It's also safe for young children to use at the correct dosages. Uh, and it's great because elderberry is easy to give them in syrup form because it has like a sweet taste and kids usually like it. Now, if you've tried home remedies or natural remedies that haven't really worked for you, don't put elderberry in that category until you've tried it. It's actually so effective that research is being done on its effect against major viruses like HIV and herpes. In fact, you may find that elderberry might be able to replace over-the-counter cold and pain medications. And of course, those can be hard on your liver. And in many cases, they're just you know, downright toxic. So if you doubt that or think that I'm overstating the truth about the toxicity of over-the-counter medications, consider that there are about 50,000 visits to the emergency room each year caused by acetaminophen. That's the active ingredient in Tylenol. And it results in 2,600 hospitalizations and 450 deaths annually. So next time, you might want to consider reaching for the elderberry. OK, the second natural item is colloidal silver. It's a great first aid tool, and you can get it in liquid or gel form. It's best known for its antimicrobial effects, which make it a strong germ and infection fighter. It can ease inflammation and pain, which makes it great to apply to burns or other wounds, and skin, skin conditions like eczema. And it can also be used as a rinse or a spray for sinus infections. And this is super important for infections because if you can knock out an infection with colloidal silver or any natural remedy and thus avoid antibiotics, you're doing yourself and everyone else a favor because antibiotics are tough on your gut since they knock out both the good and bad bacteria. Second, the more often you take antibiotics, the more you contribute to the problem of superbugs and render antibiotics in general less effective. So you want to use antibiotics only when absolutely necessary. The third thing from nature to keep in your medicine cabinet is bee propolis, uh, you know, which comes from bees and is one of the oldest medicines. You know, bees make it and use it in their hives. But a word of caution here, uh, it's best to buy it at the store since the bees in your backyard won't be happy for stealing it from their hive. All right, so at the store, you'll find bee propolis in a topical or extract form. Now, research has shown it to be effective at fighting bacteria, viruses, and parasites. And it can also improve dental health uh, by reducing oral bacteria if used in the mouth. And this can lessen cavities and plaque and encourage enamel growth. So someone interested in healthier, less sensitive teeth might want to consider using it on a regular basis. Now, number four is apple cider vinegar. Raw, unfiltered apple cider vinegar has a ton of health benefits. It contains antioxidants, it helps balance pH, and it has antibacterial properties. You can use a diluted solution for sunburns. Just add it sparingly to a bathtub, or you can soak a compress in a diluted solution and apply it to the burned area to get relief. Um, but it's got to be significantly diluted because a high concentration will sting when you apply it, so, so don't do that. You can also use it to help with skin imbalances and dandruff by using a diluted solution for, for, solution for like a face or hair wash. You know, and this can replace chemical acne creams or dandruff shampoos. Uh, for more uses uh, on apple cider vinegar, look at some of my other videos that I've done on it. Now, a fifth item to keep in your medicine kit is Himalayan sea salt. You can, you can actually make an effective decongestant by mixing a teaspoon of this salt with warm water and then spray it or use a dropper to get it into your nasal passages or, or in a neti pot to do like a nasal rinse. If you drink sea salt in warm water before bed, it can help improve sleep. The high mineral content actually stimulates the production of melatonin. If you take that solution and use it in an inhaler for like 10 or 15 minutes, it can actually lessen swelling in the nasal passages and improve respiratory and immune function. This may be a better option than pharmaceutical decongestants that can damage nasal lining or have sedative effects or you know, other systemic effects such as increased blood pressure. OK, so make sure you have these five items in your home. Black elderberry, colloidal silver, bee propolis, 
apple cider vinegar, and Himalayan sea salt. And maybe make yourself a little cheat sheet on how to use them. Okay, I'll see you in the next video.